always asserting his dominance. <laughs>
and that's not an exaggeration because like I played it on the cartridge when we were playing it there at first I played on the old emulator that I switched off of I played it on this new emulator several times over to get back where I was or for it to crash to restart or it's just it's been a nightmare to record this now, don't get me wrong I'm still a hundred percent up for recording man I am I am down I am down for it all right let's see what's here All right, now I remember this. And then he automatically digs there. He's still there. Come on, man, move. Thank you. Anywho, but like, I just, man, I like this game. Don't get me wrong, and I've become very, very versed in this beta because of how many times I've had to replay it, but I'm sick of it, man. <laughs> Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, the first- oh my god, guys, y'all are insane. The first video on this whole series, on the cartridge, exploded. You did not do what I wanted you to do. Could you explain why? Come on. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate your help, little buddy. Anyway, but like, um, dude, the first video of this whole series, episode one, got over a hundred views. Like, holy shit. I haven't had a hundred views on a video. Like, well, that's, that's, that's not true. Because Star Fox Month really exploded. Like, this past year, Star Fox Month has been absolutely amazing. Like, the, the random stuff video did really good. Star Fox Genesis did really good. Like, the start of it, oh, okay then. The start of it wasn't amazing, um, you know, because like I was playing Star Fox Survival and Star Fox, Star Fox 64 first person did pretty well, but Star Fox Survival did eh, which, you know, I kind of expected, but I didn't expect Star Fox to explode because as soon as I did the, um, Star Fox, or, I don't remember what the first video was that exploded, but I, I don't remember, I don't remember what, which one did like really well first. Point is, one of them did really, really well, and then they all started doing really, really well. Oh, you stupid. All right, hold on. Uh, but no, no, no. They all started doing really, really well. And I was so happy, man. Like, I haven't seen Star Fox Month explode like that in forever. Like, I mean, I remember... There was a time when Star Fox Month did really, really well on this channel. And then it kind of just got relegated to something I did, you know, for fun. It wasn't, like, anything spectacular or amazing. I didn't get, like, a lot of love on it. But I was, like, I was fine with that. Come on. Check this out. She she draws it over. That's pretty cool. Um, and you know, I, I don't know. Uh, the fact that it just exploded was just such, such a moment for me. Because seeing Star Fox Month do so, so well was just awesome. Like, the random stuff video did super well. Genesis video did super well. The Star Fox remake discussion did super, super well. Like, all of the Star... I think it was the Star Fox fan fix. That was the first one that, like, exploded. Which, I kind of... That was a little scummy of me, because I kind of expected that one to explode. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. No, 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 no. It's this way. Um, but, like, I expected that one to kind of explode. Come on. Ah, shut up. <laughs> God, I love the personality on these guys. I really do. Now, there's actually a point in this portion where the game does like to crash. So, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and save stay here. I really don't want to, um, but... I, I, I'm gonna have confidence. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually the wall he already blew up. Okay. And we, since we're in the water, we can actually blow those up. Um, but yeah, like, Starbucks did super, super well this year, and like, the first episode of Dinosaur Planet. 
I really did not expect to explode the way it did. Like, every episode brought in views and likes. And then, like, fucking, I've got several, like, a bunch of new subs, actually. Like, a whole... I'm, I'm at 561 right now, which... Why? <laughs> so, like, it did really, really well. I was super proud of it. And um, I have to also thank Random Stuff. Random Stuff did help me to, like, the, the collab video we did. That was really awesome. And so, big, big thank you to him. Right. Okay, so this is a little finicky. Um, so, you actually swim out, and then you click that, and then it just works. I'm pretty sure that in a, there was supposed to be a hole you exploded to make the water, you know, draw out, but it's broken. And there we go. And then it should just... This is the part that got finicky. Okay, there we go. See, it's like a whirlpool. And it should allow us just to walk back. Okay. It looks like it's not gonna mess up on us. Which is perfect. Um, before, I actually ran into a crash right there. And I'm gonna speed up here to get out faster. Um, but I did run into a crash that right at that moment for some reason. And it really just messed everything up. Wait... Oops, sorry. Wrong way. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's shut that back off. Oh, or not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I hope you guys don't mind me using the speed up feature. Uh, if you guys want me not to do... If you guys want me not to do that, you know, so you can watch it in normal speed the entire time, let me know. I've been kind of doing it because it allows me to get past all the... Because there's a lot of parts in Adventure like that. That's like minutes of time that get eaten away, you know. So I really like the feature to be able to speed past it. Like going across water, crap like that. It's just so much faster with the timer. Or with the time increase. So this actually is our very first Krizoa uh, challenge. Uh, which... This is very interesting. It's somewhat unfinished, but unlike the final version, uh, we can actually replay the th the thing if we wanted to. But yeah, we're about to experience the first uh, Krizoa dungeon. Let's do it. I'm very excited. Let's see, we're already at 15 minutes. Not at all. Besides, I've usually been playing for like an hour. So, um... Alright, let's do this, man. Right, 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 right. And then check this shit out. This is This is so creepy. Alright, there's the Krizoa spirit. And now this turns out to be a free-for-all. This is the same music from Adventure that played over general scales uh, when you fought him. Fought him, quote-unquote. Not really a fight. Now, once you do kill four of these guys, it does boot you out, and you should get the spirit. Get you. There we go. Or is it five? Oh, it's five. And there we go. And this effect is pretty cool. Now, I do have to say, I much prefer the way they did the Krizoa eye effect in uh, Adventure than I do in the beta. The beta is kind of creepy. I don't know why, just, it, it's kind of unsettling. Just a bit. I love how smooth this is working. So in the original, there was no indication you actually got the spirit. So I actually replayed that because I wasn't sure what was going on. I am going to speed up out of this. But check it out. So our crystal is glowing as well as our eyes, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, uh, there are a few cutscenes that are going to play. So. Take me to Warlock Mountain. Did you hear that, Kite? Hear what? 
It must be the spirit inside you. Take me to Warlock Mountain. I suppose we'd better do what she says. So this is the port uh, portion of the game where we're actually going to go to the Krizoa Palace. So I'm very excited for that. So I am going to speed up a bit to get out of here. There is one more cutscene that's going to play, which I will let play out once we get there. Which is right here. Can we go to Cloudrunner Fortress now? But what about this spirit? Randall must have sent me to collect it for a reason. But my mother's going to be very worried. Look, let's just get rid of this spirit and then we'll go straight to the fortress. Okay? Okay, but we need to hurry. I agree. Alright, so I'm going to save real fast now that we got the spirit. And we're going to full, we're going to max speed our way out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, not you again. Now, if you notice, he originally. So we actually have to warp to warp warp to Warlock Mountain. Yes, or Krizoa Palace. I am, and we're gonna speed this up. Oh, did he just sneeze me? Hold on. My space bar on this one's a bit broken because uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm in a different position playing a PC game. PC game. Um, playing on my computer, I mean. As you can see, it's raining, which is pretty cool. And I love how there's like nothing broken here. God, it's so crazy because I remember like how difficult this has been to record, like from the start to the finish. Because I got the beta, but the the beta wasn't working, and so I got the cartridge, and the cartridge didn't work. And oh my God, so many things are going wrong with this series, man. I'm so happy that we got everything sorted out. Hopefully, we'll see. Now, as you can see, he's walking around. Now, context. I'm almost positive that we're getting to the portion of the game where they started changing the story and or it was the original story he's gonna say some stuff that is going to counterdict contradict what he said at the beginning of our playthrough before he mentioned well I'll, I'll discuss the contradiction as soon as we play through this but if you listen the rumble I believe was his name the that swap stone and Lightfoot village he originally had a different dialogue and had a totally different voice actor, but now his voice acting and his lines have been replaced with the, uh, Rocky, I believe, um, Rocky's lines, which turns to be the Warp Stone in Star Wars Adventures. So, I think we're getting closer to the point to where they started making the heavy transition from Dinosaur Planet to Adventures. Star Fox Star, Star Fox Adventures, Dinosaur Planet, that, that beta, not, not Star Fox Adventures. Ah, Crystal, my dear. So tell me, what did you find at Discovery Falls? She found a map. So <laughs> fucked up, her eyes. I am Quan Atalachu, first spirit born, one star of eight. Are you a Krizoa? The Krizoa? They worship us. Their thoughts reside with us in each shrine. It is they that test you. Who are the Krizoa? I'm not quite sure. I found some records of an ancient civilization from before the time of the dinosaurs. Shh. I am the first. There are seven more that you must bring to this place. Why should we do what you say? It is only by the will of life that the spirit can bring peace. You will find us all. We must continue. Take me into the chamber. So, let me pause here. Well, I forget. Is he... Okay. Here's the contradiction. At the beginning of the game, Randolph, I believe was his name, told us that the Krizoas were an ancient race that essentially were the rulers and creators of everything. And they were super powerful beings, but then war broke out and they all passed off. 
now he isn't sure, nor is Crystal, what the Krizoa are, and he just says he found records of some kind of ancient civilization, which contradicts the fact that he already gave us that information and knew what it was in the beginning of the game. So, I'm assuming that that, was, that contradiction came from the fact that they were adjusting the story um, as, you know, we, we went along, or as the development went along. Now, if you recognize this, or, or if you're a fan like me, this is the very same chamber that Crystal gets shoved into a crystal in Adventure. Now, the opposite side is for Saber. There are two opposite uh, areas. We can't access the other one. It's, you know, where Saber's going to go. So, as you can see, we lost the Krizoa. And there we go. Now, this is a pretty cool wide area. It's obviously a very, very early version of Krizoa Palace. Um, but look at that, man. Freaking cool. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to make our way all the way back to uh, the swap stone and it's time to switch over to Saber. Come on. All right. Skill. This is the destruct command. Use it to get by those who block your so this, uh, we just gained the distract command. So this will allow us to get past certain things, which... Is, oh, look at poor dude. He's like, oh, don't look at me. Uh, but, oh. Oh. Oh, he's asserting his dominance. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Um, so we just got the distract command, which we only get once it completes Crystal's side of the story at this point of the game. And we are now going to be making our way all the way back to Snowhorn Way, so speeding up once again. All righty. Check this out. I love this. Distractive. And there we go. So check this out. Now this, uh, this is not fun. What you're about to experience. Or what I'm having to do and what you're going to see. So, um, this is Garunda Tay. If in the original game... Will somebody get me out of here? sent you to rescue me. Sharp claws haven't fed me in days, so I'm feeling a bit weak. If you bring me 12 frost weeds, I'll be able to get myself out. Hurry, boy. I'm starving in here. So I will show you the process of giving him one of the frost weeds. I'm not gonna. Sh uh, I'm not gonna show you all 12 because this, in the original recording, that took forever and it is not fun with the process you have to do. All right, let's get tricky over here. So, you wha just like in the original, you whack this down. However, unlike the original, where you would tell Tricky to find, uh, that does not happen. Now, what you're supposed to do, if... Oh, well. Well, uh, this is a prop. Yeah, as you can see, ah! <laughs> oh, this I mean, Tricky got the same one. And eventually... With a bit of luck and some patience, eventually, there it is. There's one, and we repeat that eleven more times. Eleven. Oh, look out, boy! Ah. Uh, hey! It's the young prince! And who is this with you? This is my friend, Fox McCloud! My mother sent us to Your mother sent you, did she, lad? 
Nice lady, oh my. She said you'd know something about a spellstone. A spellstone? Mmm. My name is Garunda Tay. I am a spellstone guardian. Many moons in our past, the great Chimeria dragon formed a group of dinosaurs known as the Spellstone Guardians. Four dinosaurs from different tribes were each given a Spellstone. Each guardian was to keep this knowledge secret and pass down this duty through following generations. General Scales learned that I was a guardian and gave me a choice. Either reveal where I had hidden the spellstone, or my whole tribe would be destroyed. I had no choice. The safety of the many must come before the few. It is my duty. But my daughter did not think this way. My daughter told Scales that she knew where to find the spellstone. Scales kept his word and did not destroy the tribe. He enslaved them instead. What can we do? It is up to you to find the spellstone before General Scales. I will open the mine. Alright, fine. Remember, you must return the spellstone to me so that I may activate it for you. Good luck! Alright, there we go. So, that was a freaking track and a half, but now we are finally making our way into the mine. Now, I am going to play till we get to where I was on my original playthrough. Um, that way I don't start the next episode to immediately switch accounts, because that'll be kind of pointless. So as you can see, this is actually... Ooh. This is where the R-Wing was originally. Um, or not... Bleh, in the final build. The R wing is in this section, and the mine isn't connected. But I ain't gonna—I ain't gonna lie. The mine being connected to the oh shit. The mine being connected to the overarching area, I like it better. I ain't gonna lie. Now here we are. That music though—that is fucking nostalgia. One of these sections is like really glitchy screen wise. <gasps> oh. Let's reload that thing. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, that's good. It, oh, well, it, it fixed itself and then it broke again. Alright. Distract him. Give me that key! There we go. And there we go. Pardon me. So we got the key. Uh, let's call Tricky back. I love the music they chose for this. Alright, give this a second. It's gonna play with a little cutscene. I cannot thank you enough for releasing me. Take this as a reward. I found it whilst working yesterday. It looked important, so I hid it from the sharp claws. Thanks. This may come in useful. If you're heading for the mine, please look out for the Guardian's daughter. Her bravery alone saved us from certain death at the hands of General Scales. And here we go. Now, if you've noticed, uh, which I'm sure you have, for those who are very attuned to these little details, the setup of this area is almost one-to-one -one with the final version uh, of Starbucks Adventures. And I, like, literally, almost every puzzle, every location, it is all almost identical here. I don't, well, at least at the beginning. I don't know, after we get past this and we get the flame command for Tricky, which is in this beta, 
that will be where I stopped on my original recording before, you know, everything went down. Um, and that's where we will be stopping our episode so I can switch, uh, back over to the, um, back over to my main account. Uh, but yeah. Pardon me, my good sir. I'm gonna walk over here. And then we've got a friend in need. And you're dead. I am forever in your debt. I see your little friend has yet to learn his flame command. This cutscene's pretty go close to the final monster. two. Give it a go. I wasn't so exhausted. I could sneak him past the main gates. I need some food. Alright. So now we're on the search, which lucky for us is also pretty much identical to the way it is in the final game. Uh, so, we're actually going to be going down this pathway, using Tricky, uh, oh, there we go, using Tricks, 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 Tricks for Kids, Tricky's, uh, Flame Command, we're actually melt this ice, and make our way through, there you are, come on. I don't know why Fox's head stuck upwards. It's kind of weird. There we go. We got one of the Alpine routes. There's only one more that we need to grab. Um, and once we do, that we'll be able to end this episode off. There we go. Okay, he's in now. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know why the game was acting so finicky. But it's working now, so we're good. Like I said, there are definitely still a few spots that are just kind of blah. They got to, like, reset and push through. But once you get it, you get it. Oh, God, that thing is so annoying. I see Tricky. He's trying to get down here. There he is. Can I grab it? Thank you. Point to have them. There you go, man. That's better. But I need more. I got you, man. Come on. There we go. And this is where we stop. So I am going to call it here and uh, we're going to end it off. Guys, we have finally made our way all the way to the Dark Guys Mines. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to have in this entire ROM before we reach the end. I don't know if we'll be able to beat the boss. I don't know if we'll be able to get the first spell stone. I'm hoping we will. Another thing I'm noticing is that in, early in the playthrough, they mentioned six spell stones when there's only four in the final, so I don't know how many there are in this game, and unlike Star Wars Adventures, where there's a way to see all the items you've collected, there is no way to really see that in this version. So, we're going to have to find out as we play through. So guys, if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, support, as always, have an amazing. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this series, it's been really fun, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy it, and I will see you all in the next one. Without further ado, this show's exciting out, later.